stuff. Woo! We have left the dock and are on the Rio headed towards Livingston to check out today. It's really hard to believe after five and a half months we are on the way and thankful for Janet and Jim for joining us and helping us out. All right, hey. Jim and Janet back on our station. It was episode 168 when we last saw you in Newport and now you have come down to Guatemala to help us do the passage. And we're having such an adventure. It's heart of darkness, although the sun is shining. We're going through the jungle in Guatemala, soon to go through a gorge, and then some ocean sailing. Wow, <laughs> what more could you ask for? And this is your first overnight experience. Yes. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Excited, looking forward to it. Good, yeah. welcome aboard. <laughs> it's been a busy morning so far, prepping the boat for offshore passage. Now it's time to relax a little bit. It's a beautiful day here on the river. Boy, we're gonna miss Guatemala. It's definitely mixed emotions as we pull out of here and say goodbye to the friends we've made and the beauty of this place, but we'll be back and certainly keep our friends with us even though we're not here anymore. We've got the Shake production line going on right now. This is my favorite, thanks to Pamela. It's pineapple, ginger, cilantro, and then you blend it into a frozen drink. Well, let's don't forget the lime. And the reason why we put the lime in there is because we're sailors. And sailors don't like scurvy, okay? So we use lots of limes. So it's been five and a half months since we've done an ocean passage. How are you feeling about this? Oh, it's just a piece of cake. No problem. <laughs> the rigging's good, sails are good, and the best thing is the food and the company are great. <laughs> Hold on, I want you to taste it and make sure. We're on our way right now to Livingston where Raul, the agent in Livingston, is gonna check us out, and then we're on our way. <laughs> Everything was going really well until it wasn't. Okay, we are headed back to the Rio Dulce. <laughs> it's beautiful to go through this canyon yet again. Yeah. Uh, we did not expect that, but uh, are having a little bit of trouble with our alternators. That's why we're going back. And we also have a good marine electrician and Chris here in the Rio. It's a little bit of an inconvenience, but we get another crack at the Rio Dulce. That the solar. MPPT controllers so that they charge to a higher voltage than the alternators so that they will take precedence normally. If they've charged the batteries enough, the alternators will not try to overcharge. That Run should a put a little cooler. less load on the alternators. Okay. And I've also put a 30% load restriction on the alternators, on the, the belt load manager, on oh, the good. on the Balmar regulators. So good. they'll effectively be a 30% less powerful alternator. Right. So they won't run as hard as they did yesterday. Good. Which should stop them from overheating also. Okay. All right, it's round two. Here we go. Off to Kyle Komodo to stage, and then hopefully tomorrow we're gonna make the crossing. You just never know with boats whether it's gonna work out or not, but right now the alternator and the engine look good. We're monitoring them closely for temperature to make sure it doesn't overheat. We're excited, this could be it. Goodbye Rio Dulce for the second time. Hopefully. Oh, we're gonna break away from the magnet, the Rio Dulce magnet. Due to the delay caused by our engine issue, we lost our weather window and our wonderful crew as Jim and Janet had to return home. We learned a valuable lesson that day to complete boat work long before a big passage and leave enough time for a shakedown sail. We have made it to Kaya Komodo. It's so quiet and peaceful in here. Gotta love this as a, an anchorage for the night. And we are just gonna chill here, prep the boat, and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Today it's gonna be a moody, broody day with clouds out here. It's our last day through the this Crazy, snaky. Epic passage as a cruiser on a sailboat. Wow, we've done this in the sunshine. Now we're doing it in the rain. Oh yeah. Uy, bonito. Yeah, 
It's the final approach to Livingston and whoa, there are some seriously big storms going on out there. Anchors up, here we go. And we're off. Well, goodbye, Livingston. Hello, Tila. Uh, don't get too cocky. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. 24 hours of adventure, here we go. Oh, what's that? It's a sail. And what's that? Salt water. It's been a long time. It's going to be about a 22 hour crossing. We have no idea if the winds are going to cooperate. They're supposed to, but you just never know until you get out there. These are flat, which is always wonderful when you're out on a crossing. And hopefully we'll be rolling into Utila around 11 tomorrow morning. Right now we're doing six knots. I'm sure we've got a little bit of the Rio behind us pushing us out. That's what we're looking forward to here. We're all set. We've got all of our items ready for a night crossing. Hopefully we don't need any of that, but you just never know and it's always better to be prepared. Logs! Oh! Man, those things are huge! I'll come up front. Right in front of you! Wow. This looks good. Ah, oh, it goes so deep! Oh, that is just one nasty train of trash and sargassum seaweed. So we've got our bed made up here for the crossing tonight, which is awesome. First time we're able to use this to sleep. We also have taken out our weapons of choice because we're going past Puerto Cortez, which on the coast has some issues with fishermen becoming pirates. So we've got our two machetes out. We have our air horn, our bear spray, our laser that blinds you if you look at it. Our last weapon is a slingshot that shoots metal balls. They're ball bearings. These are clay. I'm starting out with them. All right, here we go. Let's hope he doesn't put one right through the boat. Woo! So it looks like about 50, 50 to 80 feet. Yeah. That's all we need. If they're coming closer, we're going <laughs> to knock them down. And then they'll shoot us. Oh. Let's hope they don't have guns. Oh, I got one more. Man, they that thing flies. I'm happy with the weapon. Wow. Yes, look, look, Amazon. Beautiful. Sun on you, dark on the background. This is really gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Anyone comes to attack blown away, they'll be very sorry. Got dolphins on our port side. <laughs> wow. Everything here, at least to stay alive. We got a pretty big storm system around us here, upwards of 30 knots. Rain is falling, winds are down to 20 now, pushing us way off of our course. And we've been dodging squalls all night. Seas are pretty rough right now. But I'm hoping that the worst is behind us and hopefully things will start to improve here quickly. It's morning. Other than a lot of squalls last night, it was fairly uneventful, which is great. Looks like another five hours and then we will be in Utila. We are pulling into the harbor at Utila. Very grateful to be here. It was only a one day journey, but it felt a lot longer for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because we've been sitting for five and a half months. 
So any ocean crossing is gonna feel bigger than it used to be. You flag is up. It is time to check in. We're pretty tired. So we wanna get checked in and then be able to relax a little bit. Hi. What we thought was gonna be a very fast process has turned into a very long process. I guess we cannot find El We're Capitano. We're to dial up El Capitano on the coconut telegraph. No, it's the key. So we're watching the world go by. You'll be 